Hello, my friend, and welcome to the Sales Podcast. I'm Wes Schaefer, the Sales Whisperer, your host. Today, you're in for a treat. Hold on to your hat. That Sue B. Zimmerman on the call. I've known of Sue for many years. I uh, got to meet her uh, and hang out over a year ago at the uh, Entrepalooza Conference. Uh, we've been chatting ever since. So it was great being able to schedule her on this show. We get into Instagram marketing, but this is not the fluffy feel-good stuff. We got into the weeds, really, on how to leverage this tool, uh, help you decide, is it right for you? And if it is, how to leverage it. She is very open about uh, the very detailed and involved process that she gets into to leverage this platform. It is not ad hoc, willy-nilly, shoot from the hip. And honestly, maybe more than you want to do. I'm kind of scratching my head saying, I don't know if I want to do that much to leverage Instagram. But uh, hey, it is a, a hot platform. She does talk about how she closed down some other social media platforms so she could focus here. We get into how many platforms should you be on? And then where do you send everyone that is engaging with you on these platforms? So you are in for a treat. Uh, if you need to grow your sales, if you're getting leads and you're not closing them, or if you don't have enough leads and you don't have the budget, the time, the team, the creativity to use all these fluffy tools, and you just need to pick up the phone and talk to people, you need to network, shake hands, uh, disqualify quickly, please join us at the Make Every Sale course, makeeverysale.com. Come on over now while it's still lifetime access. Uh, we are on live calls almost every week, 41 uh, professionally done videos and a ton of bonus uh, content as well. Always keeping it up to date, lively, informative to help you make every sale. So join us there, would you? Makeeverysale.com. Now let's bring on Sue. Sue B. Zimmerman. All the way from Cape Cod, taking time out of your summer siesta. To enlighten us on the sales podcast, welcome to the show. How the heck are you? Hey, it's so great to be here with you, Betty. <laughs> you know, I love picking on you at Entrepalooza. I think you kind of met your match, didn't you? I did. I love that you were like sitting four rows behind me and tweeting at me <laughs> <laughs> with it's photos. What, it's what I do. So what yeah. the heck do you do, huh? Are you some kind of, are, are you, are you a social media snowflake or, or do you have like some hard hitting real meat that people can use to grow their business with social media? I always have hard hitting business tactics. I have ever since I was young and you know, before social media even existed. So what? Yeah. So, you know, Wes, I don't know if you know this about me, but I've had 18 different businesses and I've been that person who's always been able to figure out how to market, promote, amplify, and broadcast what it is that I am doing and selling to attract those that I'm meant to be working with. It's just ever since the days of being a little girl selling, do you know what polywogs are? You might not know. I remember the name, but I, I couldn't draw a picture of them. <laughs> they are what turns into actual frogs. And I was selling those at the top of my street as a young girl, but I had the poster. I had the sign. I had the marketing and I had the desire to sell uh, what I loved doing. And at the time it was catching polywogs. <laughs> where, and where was um, this? But any, This is back in Andover, Massachusetts, where I grew up. They have frogs up there. I thought everybody was like just cold and they just, you know. Yeah, in the summer typing? we have ponds. We have ponds and we have, you know, tadpoles, pollywogs, frogs, all that. Anyway, oh, let's let's get Tadpoles. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what we call them in the South. Okay. That's, that's a simpler that's... word. You know, I mean, okay. English was an elective in Louisiana. So, I mean, <laughs> you got to shorten these things up. Okay. Um, but seriously, I, you know, I, before I started teaching Instagram marketing, I was teaching social media in my hometown, Wellesley, Massachusetts, very locally. And in the summer, I would run my retail seasonal store called Subi Doo here on Cape Cod, where I live now in the summer. And I learned very quickly how to use social media to draw traffic and bring people, paying customers into my store. And I was doing everything like I'm sure a lot of your listeners have tried, whether it was Twitter or Facebook or 
Foursquare. Imagine that. Animoto, like just videos. I, you know, just anything creatively that I could post to bring people in. And truth be told, when I heard about Instagram from my teenage twin daughters and the message to all your listeners to, is to always watch what your teenagers are doing. <laughs> Because they're setting the next mobile trend. Just trust me on this. And um, they were scrolling on their phones when we were on vacation and, and they weren't paying attention to me when I was talking to them. They were not being nice to mom. And so um, they didn't have their phone in their ear. They didn't. They weren't tapping and texting. They were scrolling. And it was that scrolling action that got my attention where I asked them, what are you guys doing? And they were like, mom, we're on Instagram. Don't get on Instagram because then you're going to start teaching Instagram. <laughs> Uh, yeah, challenge taken with their mom. So so I started paying attention to everything. This was almost five years ago, Wes, when I was really looking to, like I said, increase the traffic into my store. And that summer that I used it, my sales increased so significantly that I'm like, holy, holy guacamole, I've got to teach this to other business owners who are struggling, who just don't understand the power of visual, the power of storytelling, the power and, of... And what it, was your business then? That was my store, my retail store. I sold okay. jewelry, clothing, and accessories here on Cape Cod to a pretty affluent community in um, a seasonal resort. And my store I had for six years. So this store evolved out of previous businesses where I primarily was in the consumer product space my whole life. And I even taught and spoke on stage at Creative Live, I mean, on QVC for one of my businesses and also Creative Live. Um, I've done courses there, but I've always loved to teach. And I've always, whether it was teaching art classes, my kids were little or teaching social media or teaching Instagram. And that's where I am today. Teaching is my thing. And the thing that helps other people just get more clarity in and around their business. And so I've gone all in on Instagram because I had such great results and I could teach it from a place of real case studies, you know, and, you know, walking the talk and not just like making stuff up. Like I know what I'm doing and you can too. So Um, why why Instagram instead of Pinterest? I mean, Pinterest is a photo sharing. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, I used to teach Pinterest before I taught Instagram and Peggy Fitzpatrick and I were just together this past weekend here at my house on Cape Cod. And we did a Facebook live video that we can link into your show notes talking about the difference between Pinterest and Instagram. And Pinterest is primarily a bookmarking site where there are backlinks and you don't share selfies on Pinterest. You don't share intimate, you know, um, like, you don't you don't share more of the intimacies of your of your visual story on Pinterest like you can and do on Instagram. It's that emotional pull, emotional connection on Instagram that really gets people to understand who you are, what you do, why you do it, and you know why they might want to be working with you. And on Pinterest, it's more of like I said, a a place where you um, curate content that's that's bookmarked because you have boards and content that you refer back to for different aspects of your life and your business. And the beauty of Pinterest, which Peggy clearly stated to me, OMG, Sue, you got to get your YouTube videos on Pinterest. I'm like, we just don't have the bandwidth to do everything like every other small business. Um, But we are going to be putting together a Pinterest strategy soon because of the backlinks with Pinterest versus Instagram. You get one link in your bio. You can swipe up in Instagram stories if you do have 10,000 followers or a business profile, but not everybody has that feature. So it makes it a little bit more challenging to link in Instagram. And so um, the reason I like teaching Instagram is because my brain thinks visually and I think of Instagram as your digital magazine of literally all the things in your life, in your business that go together visually in a, you know, in a themed way, in, in, a, in a focused way, in a niche market where you can become known as that go-to person in your space. And when I say niche and when I say themed, Wes, I mean, you've got to stay in your lane and you can't be sharing quotes one day. You're doing yoga over here. You have five kids over there. You just went on vacation over here. I have no idea who you are. Like you've got to stay in your lane. And so this is why I have a business account, the Instagram experts, 
I have a personal account, Sue B. Zimmerman, and I have a team account at SBZ Team because each of these accounts serve a different purpose and have different followings based on the content and the voice that I share. Again, going back to a digital magazine. And I say digital magazine, Wes, because I really believe that just like a real magazine, when you buy it, there's a promise on the cover and you buy it because of what you expect in the magazine, whether it's Fortune or Success or Sports Illustrated or Vogue, you buy it for the promise that you know will be delivered in that magazine. On Instagram, you follow accounts based on the promise that they make in their bio and who they say they are and the content that they share. And when they go down a different path and they're not sharing that content, people typically unfollow or get confused. Is all this making sense? I'm so confused. Are you confused? No. That makes sense. It does seem like a lot of work. Good grief. I got got to... You mean I can't share pictures of my dog on my on my business page? I thought people would like buying from people with pets. Okay, that's very true. And <laughs> yes, you can share your dog. And yes, I share Mr. Cody, but you've got to tie the content back to who you are and what you do. Here's what people don't know about Instagram. The visual content that you share, whether it's a photo or a video, doesn't literally have to match up to the description that you use in the, you know, in what you write, what you write, Wes, can be a micro blog. I like to call it. You get 2,200 characters in Instagram to write something. And an example of this today, to be honest with you, is on the Instagram expert. If you look at the Instagram expert, as I'm talking to you, and you look at the post that I did this morning, it's of the Harbor here on Cape Cod. So you're looking at a really peaceful, calm, beautiful Harbor But my messaging is from Ariana Huffington. Success is not always about doing more, but about doing better. And we do better when we're connected to our inner wisdom, strength, and intuition. And that's her quote. And I build off of her quote to teach a lesson that would resonate for my followers on Instagram. And so... Again, the photo or video, like if you're sharing your dog, you might want to just talk about some sales ninja tip that only your dog can understand. (laughs) I'm kidding. Um, But just something, but just something that brings you and the dog together. And it's not, here's my cute dog. Hello, Monday, motivational Monday. It has to go back to going deeper. I think people aren't going deep enough. I think people are literally taking, can I swear on your podcast? Sure. (laughs) Getting shit off the internet and just repurposing it on Instagram and they're not spinning it with their own thought or voice or going deeper. And I, I mean, you're saying I can't just uh, share a Gary V quote. that says, go hustle your face off and just share that 12 times a day. That's not going to work. Sorry, Charlie, not going to work. And everyone does it. Everyone does it. Everyone takes famous people's quotes and they turn them into graphics on Instagram and they use all different type styles and there's no branded look and feel and it's not your quote and it's not your content. And is it okay to do what I just did with Ariana Huffington? Yeah. I didn't share her face and use her face. I literally, I'm reading her book thrive and I'm loving it. And this quote was on page six and I'm like, that is a message that people need to understand. People need to go deeper. And so I knew it would resonate with my followers. But yeah, I mean, think of your own content in your own space and get inspiration. You can get inspiration from other people I do every day on Instagram. You've got to think about your voice, your branding, your messaging, so that the people who decide to follow you are following you because of you. So as some, you know, as some business owner, you know, 50 employees, uh, looking to spend 25 grand on a sales consultation. Am I going to make that sale because I have some inspiration on Instagram? Okay. So I don't know if you'll make that sale, but let me talk to you a second about kind of the philosophy 
philosophy of the sales funnel or the theory in my mind, I shouldn't say philosophy. I should say the theory in my mind of what happens on Instagram when you do it correctly. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through this because I think you'll appreciate it. If your account is set up for success, meaning your name of your account matches either your business name or your Twitter handle or some aspect of your business, the product or service that you sell, and your avatar is a professional photo, it's not blurry, it's not cropped, I can see your face, I can clearly see your logo, and your bio has all the elements in it that set your bio up for success, meaning telling me who you are, what you do, why you do it in a creative way that's not literally so businessy like what you would find on LinkedIn. And then having a call to action, why should I click that link in your bio? What is it about the thing, the place, the product, the service, the opt-in, the webinar, the live show that you want me to go to? Why should I click in and join that? And in a way that's not spammy and salesy. And so in order to get people to take action on Instagram, you literally need to provide value. And value as I know it, and I'm sure you would agree, Wes, is informing, educating, inspiring, or even entertaining. Entertaining on Instagram. Oh my gosh, there's so many entertainers that do amazing. And there's so many business owners, service-based business owners who are crushing it on Instagram. I talk about a lot of them on my YouTube channel. But you just can't make, you can't go from setting up an Instagram account to closing a $25,000 sale. Now, I will tell you, I do group coaching and I do have high-level coaching clients and they have been nurtured over time once they've opted in into my lead magnet, my freemium, my opt-in, which is my strategy guide. They opt in, they get my download, they get an email follow-up sequence of me saying, hey, you know, join my Facebook group or if you want more, you can book a 15-minute call or if you need this, let me know. And we nurture them over at least a course of four different emails that we have scheduled using our favorite software, Entreport. And then we, we, we get to know each other. They, they, they come on some of my free um, Facebook lives or my Instagram lives and they, you know, they start trusting me. They start liking my personality. And then Wes, when I have something that I'm selling, like a hashtag advanced hashtag handbook class, We do amazing. We sell that class because I've proven that I know how to talk and teach Instagram strategy and people trust me because they've done some of the tactics that I do for free on my account. And over time, we have grown a very successful, thriving business. Has it happened overnight? No. I've been hustling hard for five years. So, I mean, the the hustle is real. The Gary Vaynerchuk hustle is real. Um, you got to show up, you got to do the work and you got to put in the time and you got to listen to your community and give them the things that they need to help them with the pain points that they have in their business. And as simple as that might sound, I think a lot of people don't start with leading with giving. They, they start with selling. So interesting little nuances in there, right? Cause Instagram is just the beginning, right? You've got to have some good content. You've got to have a landing page. You've got to have some type of platform like Entreport to drip on people. So you got to have that, create that initial guide, right? Which you are giving us. Thank you very much. SueBZimmerman.com slash guide. Uh, get that on the show notes. Uh, but then what are you doing in that nurture sequence? Are you Are you diving deeper into the guide? Are you giving supplemental like bonus content to keep bringing them back to your website or cross pollinate, you know, visit me on YouTube, find me on Facebook. Great question. I love your question. And by the way, I like that you're saying cross pollinate because I'm Sue B. I'm the busy bee that keeps on flying and pollinating. (laughs) So yes, to answer your question, we do take them to some of our best blog posts, our top blog post, which is back to our website, which is to our YouTube channel, where because in every one of our blog posts, Wes, for the most part, we have an embedded YouTube video that complements our blog, our written blog, because YouTube, as you know, 
is owned by Google and we can get all that SEO there. But also some people like to consume content by watching video and some people like to be reading. And so we do both in our blogs. And so we are very strategic. Obviously, we can retarget anyone that lands on our website with our Facebook ads. And we, I mean, for us, it's always bringing people back to our published content. So let's get this out there, Wes. I think this is important. Our websites are is, is home-based. That is our published content. That is what we own. That is the thing, whether it's a podcast, a YouTube, SlideShare. For us, it's our blog. That is our published content. The promotional content, which is social media, not sell my shit media, but social media. And that is literally the promotional content that we use to promote the published content. So for us, and I recommend anyone listening, you don't want to have or need more than three promotional platforms to do that. So for us, obviously it's Instagram, it is Facebook, and it is Twitter. Am I on Pinterest? Yes. Am I on LinkedIn? Yes. But we don't have hardcore strategies there. And so there's only so many hours in a day and there's only so much you can do. And I know that people, they're most overwhelmed with social media, what to do, where to post, how to post it, what hashtags to use. And it's just like, go deep in the ones that you love and do a really good job at using them to promote and amplify. So, so Wes- Let me ask you something. Should I go where I love or should I go where I think my clients love? Like, what if I I hate Pinterest, but I realize- my business, my ideal, my avatar is on Pinterest. Should I fall in love with Pinterest now? I don't think you should fall in love with, I don't think you should force anything, but I think you should be educated. And I love, you know, knowing your audience and knowing what your audience wants and where they are is so important. And following, you know, if that is, is if that's your goal is to connect with them deeper, you got to connect with them where they are. And, you know, back to the, back to the blog for one hot second, Wes, we, on blog day, we treat it like a launch, meaning on blog day, we post on Instagram an animated GIF talking about the blog, drawing traffic back to the website where we get all these warm leads. And I change out the link in my bio from the download list building link to our bit.ly link to drive traffic to our website so we can track the traffic. And then every time we release a new blog, I go live at 9 p.m. EST and I do an Instagram live because I have so many followers on Instagram and that is where my people are. And it stays live now. Thank you, Instagram, for 24 hours instead of disappearing as soon as you're done. So I get three times as many people watching on the replay than I do showing up live. So my reach from my Instagram lives are good. Now that disappears in 24 hours. So that, that tactic and strategy works for me because my followers are on Instagram. So you got to know where your people are hanging out. Yes. And you got to honestly, Wes, I think you have to do what you like in order for it to have fulfillment in your life. And I love Instagram. I just do. (laughs) So are you recording that video some other way? So it lives on? I don't, but here's, I I don't, but we could, and we are actually launching something very exciting in January of 2018 that you will be, all be hearing about soon. If, um, and we will be taking aspects of content that I'm teaching and, and repurposing it. But to be honest with you, here's the strategy. Wes, so we might have six or eight points in our blog. And when I'm doing the live, I say, today, I'm just going to, I'm going to talk about this, this, and this. And I talk about the top topic. I pin the topic. And then I say, okay, if you love this content, I want you to know that on our blog, I talk about three more points. So you make, like, my goal is to drive traffic to the blog, to the blog, to the blog, to the blog, because that's our published content. That's where we want people to land. And so that is our mission on blog day. And that is my mission on my live. We don't repurpose it partly because we want people to have the fear of missing out if they don't tune in. And I get more people on live knowing that they can engage with me live, that they can engage with the other people who are there live. And it, I think there's kind of something special to the fact that it does disappear in 24 hours. Like, if you want to watch Sue B, because I'm sharing golden nuggets all the time, 
get on my live, turn on notifications on Instagram and jump on when I'm live. Right. Um, I love your emphasis though on the website, you know, going way Always. back to, um, golly episode 15 with Jay bear. Uh, you know, this is going to be like episode 287, you know, so we're cool. going back almost four years now. And he said, you know, if you're not good at email marketing, you shouldn't be on social. Right. Uh, and I love that you mentioned Jay because he and I are speaking together at agents of change this September. And he, yeah, I mean, he, he's amazing. And that is exactly the messaging is social media is all fun and great, but like, I'm not here for kicks and giggles. Like I got a business strategies every single day. I, everything I do, Wes, and I know that you're the same way, even, the, you know, and we both have a lot of fun doing what we're doing, but it's always with the bigger strategy. It's always with the goal. It's always with our quarterly revenue goals, our yearly revenue goals. Like where I spend my time and what I do is based on our goals. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. So tell me about this blog day. Do you just do one blog a week? So currently we do. We do one blog a week because it does take us a long time to get our blog published because there's the video component. And with the video component, you guys, it comes all the different... So for us, our YouTube channel starts with batching. So my videographer meets me either in Boston if I'm filming there or here on the Cape, and we do six to 10 videos. We do the intros and the outtakes that means outfit changes and it's a whole day of filming. And then I fill in the content in the middle of our videos with me teaching from the computer. So it touches a lot of people, meaning I have my content creator write the bullet points. I have someone working with me on the YouTube scripts to get the main points. And then I create it. It goes to <laughs> it goes to someone who transcribes it and actually writes the blog post, and then we edit the video and get it published. So honestly, it takes probably a good six hours start to finish for each of our blogs. And because we want stellar content, it's all about that awesome content. And we, we want it to be so good that you come back every time we published a new blog. So because it starts with a YouTube video, it's a little different than a lot of people that start with the written blog. Um, People really, as you can imagine, you know, get to know me. They hear my Boston accent. They, you know, they see that I'm the real deal. I take my business very seriously. My backdrop is very serious. The lighting's serious. And, you know, I really teach from the heart. It's not this heavily scripted, um, hands folding in <laughs> every time I'm talking. I got a heart image. Oh, heart. Oh, Touch your that? hand. Yeah. I'm just like, I want people to really get to know me and my passion for teaching Instagram marketing and helping other people. I, you know, Wes, I just think too many people suffer with making money and I think they overcomplicate things. I right. really do. Yeah. Well, that's interesting that people are learning about Instagram on your YouTube channel and go to your blog to get a PDF, to get more videos and content to learn. Oh my gosh, my head hurts already. Does it really hurt? Like, why does it hurt? <laughs> Is it too much? I know most people are going to think that. Uh, when I think of wardrobe changes and all that and scripting, oh my gosh, that, that does okay, hurt. Well, here, okay, so here's what I want to say to the listeners and to you. I think when you consistently show up over and over again in a way that you're committed to your mission, you gain that trust and you gain, you, you, your community grows, your business grows. And I know this because of how our business has grown over the years. And consistency is everything from the way that you present your brand and your message and, you know, the people that you're trying to attract. And so you got to show up over and over again if you want to get the results, you can't half-ass do anything or just come in one week and then blow out and, oh gosh, I can't do it this week. I'm traveling. Do I no. have to shave? Do I have to shave and get dressed for all these? Only if you're on video. I mean, I take it seriously. Yeah. I mean, I get a blowout and do makeup and outfits and, you know, I'm not, I'm not in my doing makeup. I, I used to do makeup. I'm not doing makeup anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not in my... I'm not in my fedora in my workout clothes talking to you on Zoom. That's for sure. <laughs> Man. You know. I mean, look, look, you got, you got three out of four. I got dressed, showered, did my hair. I didn't shave. I don't know. I can't. Okay. It's just usually I'm in a T-shirt. I just want to make a video, right? You, well, then you do what's best because at the end of the day, Wes, it's based on the content that you deliver. It's not based on 
how do I look? And do I have too many wrinkles? And is my hair gray? And is my teeth straight? It's like, give me the goods that I want to learn based on what you promised that you were going to give me in this video. That's what you do. All right. So I got your YouTube video here. Look at that. You guys see your little theme there. That's all right. Yeah, we got it going on. We are consistently branded everywhere. Got some consistency. Got to, right? So do I Do I need like, I need some artsy fartsy people on my team, don't I? What do you mean by artsy fartsy? Do you mean creative? Yeah, those types. Well, <laughs> here's the deal. If you really want good images, you have to invest in a great photo shoot or you do have to have people that understand the visual content around your business and brand. Sometimes I take people with me when I speak. Wes, you might want to do that. Hire a photographer. Um, you know, I spend money at least once a year for a professional photo shoot. It's worth it. I get hundreds of photos. It's not just pictures of me. It's my surrounding. It's, it's all different types of elements. In fact, we have a blog post that you can link up, um, all about what photos you need on Instagram. If you're going to do it seriously, there's three different types of photos. Okay. I will link to that. Cool. So when you... So you're saying you do six to 10 videos at a time. So that's, that's six to 10 weeks of content. Yes. And starting, um, January, we're going to be every other week. I'm going to be doing this blog post formula that I'm talking to you about. And then I'm going to be doing a live Facebook show. Ah, Mm. So excited. Shut the front door. I'm not telling Mm. I'm not telling you anymore. You, You get nothing else, but you, but you and your listeners know that Subi's going live on Facebook on a regular basis. I can't wait. I've been wanting to do a podcast for a while, but we don't have the bandwidth for a podcast, but I can definitely do Facebook. And let me just tell you and your listeners that my passion for live started with Periscope. I was one of the early adopters on Periscope. I had 22,000 followers in less than a year on Periscope. I'm like, I've never grown a platform that quickly. I'm not there anymore because Instagram has Instagram Live. And I was on Snapchat. I'm not there anymore because Instagram has Instagram stories. And I just got really comfortable talking to my phone and talking to my (laughs) camera. And that is the magic. The magic is in the video when you do it in a way that you're talking to who you're meant to be talking to and you can picture them in the lens, you know? Right. Now, are you are you giving advance notice? Hey, Sue's going to be on at you know three p.m. Eastern on Monday. Or do well, you here's the hop oh, on? Yeah. No, 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 not just hop. every. Remember, everything we do is with this strategy. We're going to have a launch around my sh- uh, for the show. It's going to be treated like a course, like a book launch. It's going to be a show launch, and it will be the same time every week, so people know to tune in, just like you do to us your favorite. Show and are they going to tune in to Facebook or Instagram or yeah? YouTube? So face yeah, so all of that. So Facebook is going to be every other week live, and Instagram will be every blog every single time I publish a blog, no matter what, no matter where I'm traveling, I go live at 9 p.m. EST. That is part of our content strategy for our blog. Is I go live to amplify and promote that blog to get more traffic back to our website. Period. Right. That's a non-negotiable. On the Facebook Live, um, we will have a download with each episode for list building. We want to use it for list building. Right. And, and I'm not going to be talking about Instagram. It's completely different. Right. Man, what if you're introverted? I don't think you are. I'm not saying me. I mean, a listener, a chiropractor, an yeah. accountant. I mean, how there. exciting can an accountant be? Woo, every two weeks, he's going to tell me about my W-9 and my 1040 EZ and Schedule C. Well, one of my clients, Powerful Accounting, Dawn Brolin, is OMG hysterical. She looks like Melissa McCarthy and acts like Melissa McCarthy, and everyone loves her. And she's an accountant crushing it on social. I mean, if it's not well, in she's your She's an team- outgoing accountant, right? That's like, that's like finding a leprechaun riding a unicorn. I mean, <laughs> what if you're an introvert? Well, if you're an introvert, you should never feel like you have to do anything that you're not comfortable doing. You got to do the things that play to your strengths. So maybe playing to your strengths is writing that killer blog post or tweeting about it, you know, or, you know, understanding the hashtags that are trending in your space and jumping in blog conversation uh, from other bloggers that you respect. 
showing up in ways where you can give value, going to live conferences. You don't have to be all over social media if it's not your thing and you're busy working all day and you just can't even figure out how to do it. For me, it comes, it's second nature. I'm so comfortable going in and out of Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, kind of like how, you know, when you the mail comes and you open your mail, it's like you open your mail. Like I can easily do that and be extremely productive all day. I have already had a coaching call, a team meeting, and here we are. And I've got this afternoon, I'm doing a YouTube channel, but I've also done social media. Right. So your brand is like this put together type person. I mean, do you ever go live? I mean, sitting by the pool, you know, in a- I used to, I used to, when I was on Periscope, I would go live everywhere. And that, and honestly, people love that. I would take people with me. Do you know where I, yes. To answer that question, if you watch my Instagram stories, Wes, I am live all day live, all day long on both channels. Subi Zimmerman, that's the, the, that's the behind the scenes, the life of Subi Zimmerman, a successful business owner. And the Instagram expert, my Instagram stories, if you tap the avatar, it's a rainbow avatar, I teach you Instagram tips on my Instagram expert account. So I am live in Instagram stories, like all day. You can watch me all day. It's very Snapchat-esque, anyone that's on Snapchat. Um, I teach Instagram. I have an Instagram. Um, I have an Instagram stories class, an Instagram hashtag class. I mean, Instagram is literally my jam and what I do all the time. And that's how the world knows me. But I'm also a business coach. And I also teach strategies around how to get more visibility online to promote the thing that you sell and the thing that you do. So how quickly are you taking people from awareness of you to an offer? How quickly? Um, It's interesting that you asked that. It's different, obviously, depending on what their needs are. So because of Instagram stories and the direct message feature, a lot of people respond to my tips and my life on Instagram, and they will say something, oh my gosh, I love what you do. I love how you teach it. You have such a simple da 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 And I'll say, do you want to be a part of my VIP um, community? And most people say yes, and then I'll send them a link to my course, subizimmerman.com slash RSG, which is my flagship Instagram course. And frequently, I am selling just from like Instagram direct messages uh, three to six a week, just not like selling without selling. Like that's not my intention, but they say, I love this. I love that. I need this. I need that. Well, I say, it sounds like you need my flagship course. Here it is. And that what course is, is two- R- RSJ. G ready, set, cram, Subi Zimmerman.com RSG. Got it. And so that is two ninety seven on our website. And I sell those from just talking to people. And is that a, a, an on-demand Instagram coaching business? That is an online course. It's a little over three hours that has a VIP Facebook group. And here's the kicker, Wes. Every Sunday, every single Sunday since January 2017, no matter where I'm traveling in the world, I go live from 10 to 10.30 for 30 minutes in that group teaching a lesson, teaching business tips, talking about Instagram updates, talking about my three finds of the week. I talk about my sponsors because I have a lot of people that send me free products all the time. And I talk about them in my group. And I also talk about them in my stories. And every single Sunday, intention. Intention is to show up every Sunday for my community and teach. Now, this is a half an hour of my Sunday every Sunday. And 10 o'clock a.m. is pre-brunch time for me. (laughs) But my husband knows, like, he's like, honey, don't you have your Sunday sipping with, it's called Sunday sipping with Sue B. Nice. (laughs) So yeah, so that's my face. That's my course. And once you buy it, you're a lifer. You're in my VIP group. We've got great people in the community. We've sold almost a thousand courses since we've launched it. It's a very successful program for people looking to have more success in their business using Instagram. Right. Yeah, I was going to ask on the price point because that, that seems like it's a good price point for that anybody can afford if they're motivated at all to learn. Um, and um, and from there, you're just bringing them into your community and they know, get to know, like, and trust you. Then if they want yeah. additional help, they can get you yeah. higher level coaching. 
Exactly. So that's where I'm really able to go live, to nurture, to talk about relationships. I also do what I call Subi squads and squads are direct message groups that I set up from my VIP community because on Instagram, you can have up to 15 people in a direct message group. So I name, I name my groups and anyone in my community that wants to be in a micro group, because a lot of people, like you said, are introverts. They don't like to speak out in bigger groups. So in a smaller group of 15, people are able to ask each other for feedback and help and support with their journey on Instagram. And I jump in there and announce when I'm doing a webinar or a new class or I'm speaking or I'm traveling. And you know, I, it's like a very, very intimate way for me to connect with my community members. And I'm always thinking like, how can I surprise and delight my buyers, my community members who have chosen to invest in my course? And for me, it's coming up with creative ways like showing up live every Sunday, doing these little squad groups. And does it take my time? Absolutely. But do I nurture them? Absolutely. Yeah. And because I'm a partner for Marie Forleo, when I sell B-School, a lot of them buy B-School or they'll buy my workshop, my live workshop, or, you know, my group coaching, like you mentioned. And right. yeah, it, it really nurtures. I mean, it, I think so much of the sale, Wes, is in the nurture se- sequence. Sure. I think people overlook that or misunderstand it. Um, but, you know, you brought up an interesting point that it doesn't have to be all you. You know, you can, you become a trusted source, uh, a conduit, right? And you can make a good living uh, recommending other tools. And, oh, yes. And oh, yes. People trust you. You you build up trust in the community. You get paid uh, an affiliate fee. And, you know, that's totally legit. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just like you listen to the radio, you know, and you got your you know, arms yeah. like, I love Monster Energy drinks. Everybody goes and buys Monster Energy drink. Well, he's an affiliate. I mean, right. I guess it's what he is. So Exactly. Are you an affiliate for Entreport too? Yes. Yeah. I mean, exactly, Russ, uh, Wes. It's, it's, the, it's the tools and the products that we have used in our business that we wholeheartedly endorse. And I never, ever sell anything just to make money. It's always, I've gotten results using X, Y, and Z going through B-School, using Entreport. We've got a lot of different affiliates on our website. But yeah, I mean, honestly, those pay a lot of the bills. Yeah. it's uh, I've built a big business, basically, being um, a good affiliate. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But you don't start there. I think people people that that just go out to make money selling things without experiencing them, that's when it doesn't feel right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I became... You know, what, what was it? Remington, you know, the micro blade or whatever. I like the razor so much. I bought the company sort of thing. You know, I mean, I got infusion soft for myself, started using it. Then I became a partner and I just showed people how I used it. So they're like, okay, I can do that. And then I get paid. You know, So it's, um, it works. You know, you don't have to just do everything on your own. Um, Absolutely. You're going to wear yourself out if you do. Okay. So, Hey, final parting words. Um, I like to ask my guests, imagine our listeners, you know, they're jogging, they're on a plane, they're on a train. Um, they don't have Wi-Fi. They're listening to this. What do they need to do? Um, I'm going to have them take, I'm going to have them. Yeah. I'm going to have them take the hashtag Sue B made me do it challenge. Uh, All right. Okay. So Sue B S U E B made me do it. If you search that on Instagram, it is a hashtag. And there is a hub. There is a hashtag hub with almost a thousand people that have taken the Subi made me do it challenge. Yeah. I would love for you guys to take a picture, a selfie, hashtag selfie or desky if you're not comfortable with your selfie and let us know your favorite thing that you learned listening to us today and tag me at Subi Zimmerman at the Instagram expert. And when I say tag, it means put a, a, at sign in front of the my name in the comments. Wes, is your Instagram account your name? It's a sales whisperer. Okay, so also tag Wes as well. So he'll get a notification. I'll get a notification. And in the comments, use the hashtag Sue B made me do it. And then you will show up 
with everyone else who has taken the challenge and I will be able to come over and say hello to each and every one of you because I believe I do a lot of interviews on podcasts and I want to connect to the listeners of of the podcast. I want to know who you are. And if you have any additional questions based on what we talked about, I will absolutely answer them. I'm the real deal. I answer all, I, I respond to every comment. It's me. It's not an assistant. It is me. There's a man, women in panties, a guy with a nice six pack abs. I mean, you got everybody, women uh, with her mask on, doing a little exfoliation, I guess. You got a little bit of everything on this hashtag. I know people really take the challenge to heart. <laughs> Did you say, show me your panties? Was that like a different, I'm going to have to go check out that interview. That's oh my kind of gosh. I'm, I'm looking at this. Where, where are the panties? Oh, here. Oh my gosh. Who is she? <laughs> Every day ask yourself, why the hell not? Subi made me do it. Hump day. That's hysterical. Uh, that's, that's hysterical. Yeah. I mean, you got to cool. read the description. Yeah. So, I mean, some people are comfortable taking it and some people aren't. And then I, and then I get these messages. Oh my gosh, Sue, that Subi made me do it challenge that you had me do. That got the most likes on Instagram. I'm like, no kidding. Because people want to know who you are. They don't want to see a quote of Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah, they want to really. see you. <laughs> I oh, know. So many lookalikes. Oh. Ah, all right. Well, you are unique. There's no lookalike for Sue B. Zimmerman. Thanks for taking time out of your summer siesta to come on the show. It's been fantastic. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Thanks so much, Wes. All right. Have a great day. Where else do you hear about panties and polywogs all in one episode? I uh, hope you got a lot out of that. Uh, I took a lot of notes from her episode. I linked to them, and you can read them all on her episode on the sales Look up Sue Zimmerman. Um, there's a lot to it, right? And I love the fact she doesn't shy away from the fact that she's driving traffic back to her website, back to her blog, back to her email tool. That is the only thing you own. I talk about Jay bear. Jay's been saying that, you know, for four years, I've been saying it. You do not own Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So get good at sending people back to your website. If you need to know how to get into their heads, how to create calls to action, headlines, taglines, unique selling propositions that resonate. If you need to understand and have somebody review your content, your sequences, come join us. It's everything we do. And it's so affordable for everything you get at the Make Every Sale course. MakeEverySale.com. Come join us. Would you please? I guarantee you're going to make more money and you got 60 days to try it. So come over there now, make every sale.com. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to share this. Give us a five-star review. Now go sell something. <laughs>